good evening or good morning depending on when you're listening to this either way I hope you're in bed I hope you have the lights off and I hope you're ready to relax and let go of the day that you've had relax and close your eyes and let the story transport you transport you to a dream hopefully in a land far, far away. Long, long ago, in a forest very far away, there lived a mother and her little girl. They were very poor and lived in a cottage with only one room and one bed. Every day the mother would take the little girl to church so she could learn. Every night she would tuck the little girl into bed. Whenever the little girl woke, her mother was nowhere to be found. Mommy, mommy, she would call to the empty cottage. Her mother would never answer. The little girl would eventually fall back to sleep. This continued for years and years until the little girl was much bigger. She became a beautiful young woman. One night, she pretended to fall asleep and followed her mother when she left. She followed her across the road and into the forest, over the bridge and into the town. Her mother went into the building. A single red lantern was lit out front. An old man recognized a young woman before she could follow her mother inside. He took her home and tucked her into bed. Children should never doubt their parents, said the old man. They will always do the best they can. Have faith in your mother. The young woman nodded and the old man told her stories of his life until she fell asleep. More years passed by. The young woman never followed her mother into town again. She had grown into a beautiful maiden. The townspeople spread stories far and wide of the beautiful maiden that lived in the cottage, over the bridge, through the forest, and across the road. One day, a prince heard of this maiden's beauty. He traveled down the mountain through the town, over the bridge, through the forest, and across the road to see her for himself. The sight of the beautiful maiden stole the breath from his lungs and the words from his lips. No story ever told did the maiden's visage justice. The prince and the maiden courted for almost a year. Every morning he declared his love for her. Every night he told her he would be back in the morning for he could never go a day without her. One day the prince dropped to a knee and pulled a ring from his pocket. Beautiful maiden, you are the only sight that I see. I was under your spell from the moment I first laid eyes on you. Will you marry me? The maiden only shook her head. My prince, I cannot marry you. I do love you dearly, but if you knew who I really am, you would never wish to marry me. No matter how hard the prince pressed, she would not tell him what made her believe he would not want to marry her. He could not fathom ever wishing for another face, as there were none so beautiful as hers. The prince accepted her rejection with grace, but he was still determined. They courted for months more. Every morning, the prince would declare his love for the maiden, and every morning he would fall to a knee with a ring in his hand and ask her to marry him. Every morning, Her response was the same. One day, the prince arrived in the morning in the most brilliant attire money could buy. He believed that perhaps the maiden thought him too predictable. This morning, the prince knocked on the maiden's door and waited for her to open with one knee bent and a ring in his hands. Fair maiden, you are the greatest light of this earth. Not even the sun can compare its brilliance to your visage. I love you greater than anything else. Will you do me the honor of being my wife? The maiden, taken by surprise, did not think about the secret that caused her to reject the prince so many times before. She squealed with delight. Yes, my prince, I will marry you. The entire town gathered for their wedding. It was the wedding of dreams, a handsome prince and a beautiful maiden. Many guests were in attendance, including the king and all of the prince's brothers. The night before the wedding, 
The prince and the maiden stayed up very late talking. Finally, the prince asked, What was it that made you so sure I would not want to marry you? The maiden was unsure of whether or not she should tell the prince, but she loved him truly and could not bear to tell him a lie. My mother works at that building in town, the one with the single red lantern out front. She has worked there since she discovered I was to be born so that she could put food onto our table. The maiden was relieved. Finally, she had no more secrets from her love as she wished it had been from the beginning. The prince's expression did not change, but something in his mind did. He began to see the maiden differently. That night, the beautiful maiden became a beautiful woman. The morning came. The prince was no longer at the woman's side. He's not trying to see me before the wedding. It is bad luck after all, thought the maiden. The king himself had traveled down the mountain and into the town to give her away. When the ceremony commenced, there the prince was, waiting for her at the altar as she knew he would be. He did not look as happy as she thought he would be, though. The woman assumed it was because he was nervous. The prince started to look red with anger when the priest asked him for his vow. He turned to face the large crowd. There will be no wedding this day, he declared, for this girl is a daughter of a whore who has no father. She is no maiden, and she is far from pure. He turned and walked away from the altar in a huff. The woman fell to her knees and wept. Many moons pass and the woman has a bump in her belly. She becomes sick when she eats and her bump grows more and more every day. The woman quickly realizes that she is going to have a baby. The woman's mother tells her not to worry, that she will take care of everything just as she has since the woman was a little girl. Years pass. Every morning, the mother comes back from the town and sleeps in the single bed in the cottage while the woman teaches the little boy out in the garden. Every night, she awakes and heads into town while the woman and the little boy sleep. One day, the mother gets sick. The doctors tell the woman that there's nothing more that they can do. Within the week, the mother has died. The woman has no money now. She has no way to provide for her little boy. So every morning, she would take the little boy to church to learn, and every night, she would tuck the little boy into bed. Sometimes, she would cry in mourning of what her life could have been. But never did she regret what life was. Her little boy was the greatest gift the world could ever have given her, and she loved him more than she loved anything else in the world. She swore that she would never, ever let anything bad happen to him. The little boy grew into a handsome young man. He played knights and knaves in the forest. One day, a young prince came upon the young man. They quickly became friends and played knights and knaves together every day. The young man grew into an older man and the prince into a king. Whenever they grew, they grew together. Sometimes their games of knights and knaves was more than just play. The king owed the man a debt of life for many actions of bravery. The day came that the man would become a knight the woman watched from the crowd as the king came down from the mountain and into the town to honor her son. The man became a knight. He rose to his feet and the king declared, This knight has served me well and I owe him the greatest of gifts. He is truly my brother. The woman only smiled. It was a secret she need not to tell because sometimes ignorance truly is bliss.